And we have live team coverage tonight. Dave Laval is standing by with reaction from Commander's fans. But we're going to go straight to Marielle Carbone. And Marielle, two women and former employees today saying they don't want anyone else to go through what they went through in the workplace. Yeah, and that's their goal by speaking out about this. Now, today, the Attorney General, he said that Dan Snyder really has a hand on everything going on with the team and that he not only knew about what was going on, as you guys mentioned, but he participated in it. So these women are hoping that by exposing this culture of sexual harassment within the team, that uh, this will lead to a shift in how women are treated in the workplace. We've risked so much. We're not going to sign your NDA. We're not going to take money. We're not going to be quiet. Two I years after coming forward about the toxic work environment us. engulfing the Washington Commanders football team, ex-employee Megan Imbert says the tide is finally changing. It feels very different. Thursday, Attorney General Carl Racine filed this lawsuit against the team, its owner Dan Snyder, the NFL, and Commissioner Roger Goodell, accusing them of covering up ongoing workplace harassment. In the lawsuit, Racine claims team employees referred to Snyder as the chief harassment officer, that Snyder ran the team like the mafia, and that Snyder himself sexually harassed female employees. Mr. Snyder dictated everything from which photos of cheerleaders were used in an annual swimsuit calendar to how revealing the uniforms would be. He directed his employees to create voyeuristic videos of partially clad cheerleaders. Someone somewhere finally stood up and said enough is enough. Legal I analyst no Deanna Lewis says these place. allegations have the possibility to, to spin off another Me Too movement, encouraging more women to speak up and bringing more reform to the workplace environment. If this can happen on this large scale, then I should speak up for myself even on this lower scale, especially when you're looking at a corporate entity like the NFL as a model in entity, a model workplace, a model for success and achievement. This is bigger than this team. This is bigger than the NFL. This is a society issue. The NFL is a microcosm of society. And this lawsuit, it comes out just as we're hitting that five-year anniversary of the start of the Me Too movement. Advocates for that movement say that there have been some positive political changes over the last five years, but that there is still more work to be done. Reporting live from FedEx Field tonight, I'm Marielle Carbone, DC News Now.